So now that I've created my, my experiment island project, uh, I, I want to continue the experiment by making this content available to other users. And the way I'll do that is I'll build this into an app that I can send off to Mac or Windows users. Uh, I'll, I'll build these self-contained executable files that allow other people to download and, and run this project that I've built. And in order to do that, I'm just going to toggle out of my play mode, or, or I'm going to leave my, my game mode. I'm going to stop running the simulation. And I'm going to go through the process of building this as a Windows executable or a, Win, uh, uh, or a Macintosh app. Now before I do this, I'm going to jump out into my class folder, into my project folder. And I like to build a folder inside my project folder. And I could call this, uh, I could call it apps, or I could call this builds. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call it builds for now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a build for both Mac and Windows of this project. Uh, and this will be a self-contained executable that I can send out that the user won't need Unity. They won't need any special plugins to run and play uh, this simple game environment that I created. And the way that I do that is really simple. I've saved everything that I'm working on. I'll choose File, Build Settings. And from the build settings, by default, we can build a PC, Mac, or Linux standalone application of the file that we're looking at. My target platform, I'll start off by building for Mac. I don't have any architecture decisions to make on the Mac platform. It's just by 86. I'm going to let everything else default. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose to build this application. Uh, I'll call this BW Island Test. Mac. And I'm going to save this inside my island tests project folder inside the builds folder that I've created. I'll hit the save button. When I do that, uh, this is going to compile a Mac executable file or a Mac projector file or a Mac app. And when that process is done inside the builds folder, you can see that I now have a Mac executable. In addition to that, I could build a Windows version. So I'm, I'm still back in the build setting window. I'll toggle this over to a Windows version. And in the Windows version, I can choose to build a 64-bit or, uh, or the default 32-bit app. I'll just let it run, or I'll let it build the, the, the default app. And I'll build. I'll choose the same destination folder. Uh, this time I'll call it bw underscore island test win and I'll save that inside the builds folder. Now um, you'll notice that when you build the Mac version it's just one asset, it's one file. Uh, all of the content is bundled and saved with this app. When you build a Windows version you get a .exe, the executable version of the file, and you get a data folder. Okay, So there's actually two assets when you build a Windows version of this. There's one version when you have the Mac, two files for the window, and it's the .exe is the thing that's going to run. Now, I'm in a Mac platform, so I can't test the, the Windows version, but if I double click on the Mac version, uh, we get this uh, pop-up window that allows us to configure our resolution, what our graphics quality should be, whether we want to run it full screen or in a window. I'm going to let everything default, and I'm just going to hit the play button. Uh, we get a splash screen, lets us know that this game is powered by Unity. Uh, and then it'll drop us into our environment. We can run around based on the same controls that, that we discussed inside the Unity platform. This is the uh, compiled standalone app for this project. So I can test the Windows, ver or excuse me, the Mac version. Uh, when I'm done with this, I'll just quit. I can copy these assets over to a Windows version uh, and test those, but I'm confident these will work just the same. And at this point, what I'll do is I can compress these builds. I'll get a zipped version of this file and this is something that I can post to the discussion board. So I'll jump out. I'll go into project one. I'll just create a, uh, a real quick thread. Here's a sample walkthrough. I'll attach this. 
that zip file. Now, the only thing we we'll want to be mindful, for, mindful of is that as our projects get bigger, we might reach the cap of file size that we can actually attach to uh, the discussion board. And in this case, I had, I had confidence that, you know, this is a really small file with all the assets compressed. I'll open, I'll submit, but as our projects get bigger, we might need to separate the Mac and the Windows build, but we want to zip these and post these to the discussion board so that other users can download and experiment with this process. Uh, so attached is a zip that contains both Mac and PC. That wasn't even close to contains, was it? Contains, there we go. And I've just attached that, so you can now download, unzip, and experiment with either the Mac or the Windows version of that. I'll continue to, to push this forward a little bit, uh, but, but make sure that you experiment with a real simple uh, environment. Go through the process of introducing some lights, some basic textures, build those for both Mac and PC, and go through the process of, of publishing to the Project One discussion board, uh, just so you get that process under your belt. Now we'll jump into Project Two, and we'll, we'll, we'll take a more kind of strategic and thoughtful approach to building our island, and we'll start to take a look at some uh, other effects, other rendering effects like particles and lights and fog uh, to enhance our environment, and we'll start taking a deep dive into the scripting into Unity, uh, and some of the interactive capabilities that, that exist inside Unity and start making uh, uh, this from, we'll change this from a real-time uh, uh, game environment or real-time simulation and we'll start to make that transition into this uh, playable game. But we'll catch up, we'll do that when we start Project 2. So look for those presentations to come up soon.